What kind of sandwich do you want? Honey and peanut butter. Honey and peanut butter? Mm-hmm. Okay. What kind of sandwich are you making, Sam? Mm -hmm. Wait, is that what? Get to wash it. Wait, what kind? Grilled cheese. Grilled cheese, okay. That's what I said. Okay, what are you going to have? Nothing. I hardly have anything. And I don't want to eat anything. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. You better figure something out. There's probably the chicken you can have. Chicken noodle soup. <laughs> Mom went to go. Mom went to go shopping with a friend because we don't have a lot of food. Lizzie's out of bread, so we've got. We just have a lot of food. So she went shopping, and we're just home. We're just home doing our own thing. And see, we just. I guess we just spaced it and didn't realize how late it was. And we. No one said anything about being hungry. Don't touch them. <laughs> so. So we just, we didn't have lunch until now, which is okay, I guess, <laughs> as long as we have lunch. Yeah. And the now is gonna watch Missy Sam and I are gonna watch our own movie because we do not want to watch what she is watching the edge is much smaller you're gonna eat something now mm. gonna wash that oh yeah <laughs> Yum! It's not mushy. Organic apples. Not mushy. Tastes like... Delicious. 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 Mm-hmm. Okay, let's try this one. Slices with puzzle things. Whoa. That's gross. Even with licorice in it. That's just... Black licorice? Red. Oh. Whoa, dude. Whoa. Because black licorice is not... What have you been licking, Keen Eye? What have you been eating over there? I heard some noises. Did you find a bowl to lick? Yeah. 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 You stinker. You stinker. 
You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Oh, you're a good boy. Mom? Say what? Can you move the camera so I can set up this game? You're just going to play Monopoly by yourself? No, I'm going to play with Missy. Oh, Missy's playing. Does she know that? I had no idea. Did you know you were playing Monopoly? No. Oh, good. These apple cores need to go out to, the to those chickens. What about the bunnies? Uh, the apples can go to the chickens today. Stay, Kina. Stay, Kina. Woo! They went crazy. Is it both? Well, do you think I would have barf on the counter? No. Is it barf, everybody? Leave it in the comments below if you agree with Sarah and you think this is barf. <laughs> I'm not gonna go in there ever again because there's a sore under there. There's a sore under there? Will you show me? Um, what is it? A sore. Oh, well. It's just a sticker. We could pick it up and throw it away. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sam stepped on a sticker. Well, let's pick it up and put it in the garbage. Yeah. Then you can go under there all the time. I know because I don't like so stickers. I don't either. Well, in the spirit of repurposing everything on the homestead, this in fact is not barf. This is a chicken carcass. So we're gonna debone it so we can use the bones for bone broth. Bone broth. Liquid gold. When you think you're multitasking and you're throwing your meat in with the bones, it means you probably should take a nap. You waiting for a treat, Kina? You want some? You want some chicken? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the dramatic drop of the pot and of the food. You know when you see stuff like that, something epic is coming, right? Something epic is coming. Bone broth. <laughs> so, we have a how-to make, to make bone broth in your Instant Pot. It happens to be called Superhero Bone Broth. So, you know, I stole Jonah's shirt today. Superhero. So we're gonna be making bone broth. You could check out that vlog if you're interested in seeing that. Um, I thought this was celery. No, it is not. It is a leek. Um, and, and it says that on the bag. <laughs> not celery. This is a leek. Oh, that's funny. Well, that's slightly. I, I wrote that. Yeah, you, you did. did. <laughs> I put the leek in there. I am you know slightly I disappointed. So anyway, I'm glad that I have a leek. Um. So I do love making bone broth in the instant pot. I used to take two days to make a bone broth on the stove top or in a crock pot. Um, this is done in hours. Um, there has been some controversy saying you cannot make bone broth in the instant pot because it won't gel. Um, mine is always gel. So I'm just gonna go with that. Yum. Ooh, that smells good. I know, I could smell it from mm. behind the camera like oh. over here. Oh. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Anytime we're cooking, this is where he likes to be. The middle of the kitchen floor. Middle of the kitchen floor. How much does this do need? Just a splash. Just a splash. Splish, splash, we're apple cider vinegar. Splashy, splashy, better. Oh, a little more. A little more, a little more. Splash, splash, a little more. Sure. More? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like somebody has been laying on the couch. Looks like I'm going to have to wash or de hair Jonah's vest. Wonder where the culprit might be. Now how put the something something preservation of where necessary. Okay, look, twenty dollars. Guess what time it is, buddy. Hello, guess what time it is? It's time for
for a brush. Yeah. Yes, it is. Come here. This is how it goes. Everything's fine. Did you get to be one of these? The situations in life. With every story that I heard of the burning bliss and I Such a helper, honey. Thank you. I will never leave you up behind. Oh, thank you. You're special. Mama said he's special. Who's special? Me. <laughs> is like the never ending hair dog. And um, I can get about this much off of him every day. So you think this is a lot, this is nothing. You could keep brushing this cute thing and still get a ton. And I have three different brushes I like to use. The Furminator is awesome. This whatever brush is awesome. And then this like pick brush. So I use all three of them. They all have different reasons that I love them. I will put a link in the description to Amazon if any of you would like to get a hairy dog. <laughs> oh man, but you know, if you don't take the time to do this, then you get to take the time to vacuum it off your couch. This beautiful dog, um, quite honestly used to bite me if I tried to give him care like this, if I tried to brush him, bathe him, anything um, with personal care. he would. He would bite me not out of being malicious but out of being um like don't i don't know he he has had he came to us with some scarring some emotional scarring which i'm not sure the extent of whatever happened i'm not sure exactly why and it doesn't matter why but um we have taken him in we got him when he was about two and um it's just amazing to me the love that he has for us that he allows me to do this for him and to him. And uh, he has come a long way. We've had him for about, oh, Nine. eight years. Eight years. I've got hair all over me. Not eight years. So it's, it's amazing what a little bit of love and uh, working with an animal will do. Yay! Ay, ay, ay. We'll see Not what we get tomorrow. Oh! oh. My. He can go with you. Let's go! <laughs> hey everyone, just getting home from work and had a few thoughts on the way home from work. Um, I was thinking about yesterday's vlog about uh, rabbit processing and realized while I didn't want to show you me the actual butchering i really didn't do a good job of showing you more of the process hi sarah that was involved and so i wanted to show you a couple of things so behind me is this a-frame ladder and uh that's where i hung the rabbit by its feet and i had a big bucket down below and did all the actual processing and worked out really well. Uh, the reason I did it in the garage and with the ladder is because it was a freezing day yesterday. <sighs> this dang door. And uh, just, I think it was 24 degrees, 23. Really windy. Uh, just gotten 10 inches of snow overnight. And uh, so decided to do it there. And it worked out really well. Out here... We've got the dog kennel 
and the rabbit cage that we used to use before the colony. And what I ended up doing was having the kids uh, go out, grab the rabbits from the colony and bring them in here and brought them all in here and Sam helped. They had to use the life trap for a couple of them. And then I would just come out, grab one at a time and, and process them. And, and so it was an overall smooth process. I, I feel bad that I didn't include that in the vlog yesterday. So don't uh, want to apologize for what we put up, but at the same time, I kind of do. I could have done better, should have done better. Anyway, thought I'd share that with you. Going, I'm gonna go inside and see how everybody's doing. What's going on? Nikina, hey, you'll come say hi to me, huh? Hello. How was your day? How was your day? You had a quesadilla? No, a pancake. Oh, a pancake. How's it going? I saw your shirt. Oh, you did? I did. That looks better on you than me. <laughs> there's, there's, um, oh. there's some of these on here. Yummy. Thanks for cooking. You are welcome. Emma's been awesome and she's done a lot of it too. It's always awesome. So anyway, thanks for coming along with us today on this crazy adventure we call homesteading. Hopefully we will see you tomorrow. Give us the thumbs up. Oh yeah, and leave any comments you like, please. <laughs>